G'day guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is on replacing the weather seals on my 77 Firebird, which is in the back here. Um, it has the Cars and Concept uh, T-tops on it, and they don't make them in reproduction anymore, which makes it quite difficult to uh, seal up the top for when you're driving. Um, I found on the F-Body website, F-Body Warehouse website, they uh, do a PDF on um, explaining how to get a couple of trunk seals and a hard top seal kit and splicing them together to create a, a new seal for your T-tops. So I'm going to give it a go and uh, show you along the way and we'll hopefully see if it works. Alright guys, here we go. All right, here's some of the things that the F-Body Warehouse recommend that we're gonna need. Uh, there's two trunk seal kits. Uh, this is one of them, and this is a pair of the uh, hard top body weather seals that go around the door. Uh, some super glue to help melt some of the seams together. And 3M black adhesive. Um, which was actually quite hard to get here in Australia. It's not in many stores, I had to order it uh, through Amazon. So I'll um, show you some of the original seals, what we've taken off. Now here's the original seal that was sitting in the channel. I've already removed the old seal. Um, you can see it's flattened out quite a bit and it's just it does not seal at all from the weather or from wind while driving. Uh, someone along the past and one, another owner has tried to stick a bit of foam to it. Uh, most of that's come off. It might have helped a little bit at one stage. But it's definitely not doing anything now. You can see the rubber starting to perish. But we're hopefully going to fix that. I've already gone ahead and put some new door with the seals on and uh, the hard top body seals are going to come running up here. They normally run here. We'll be cutting this section off and splicing it onto the trunk seal. Alright, I'm going to remove the T-top on this side. Um, I've already gone ahead and put a trunk seal on it um, the other day because it does state in the instructions to fit the trunk seal and then sit the glass back on the vehicle and keep it on there. I think it was overnight or a couple of days just to let the seal settle and find its place before you go cutting any of it. I'll open the door and just show you guys. Here you can see the new trunk seal that's been put in there. This is what the trunk seal looks like. Side profile, we can get it to focus. It's having trouble focusing. Which is Just pushed it in here. And as you can see, it's sort of it's folded itself over and it's made a nice little lip around that. It actually fits really nice. I was really impressed with this. So, so far, so good. And probably better. There's a better shot of it. It normally sits around the uh, trunk. Trunk. Lead to seal that off.
I think I'll just have a quick rum and coke because it is a Sunday. Cheers.
All right, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. That's part one of the weather seal installation for the target tops. Um, we've got to let those seals um, settle in, and I'll get back to that, and we'll do a part two video. Please, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe, because there's going to be plenty more videos to come. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.